Now, Moscow has claimed that more than 900 Ukrainian fighters from the Mariupol steel plant have been taken to a former prison colony in a Russia-controlled part of Donetsk. Ukraine hasn't publicly commented on their fate. A pro-Russian separatist leader says that more than a thousand soldiers are still trapped in the plant. Here's a report with all the details. Russia's defense ministry released footage on Wednesday of what it claims are wounded Ukrainian soldiers from a besieged steel plant in the city of Maripol. The men appear to be in hospital beds and a handful spoke briefly to camera. In the video, one says he had received medical treatment, another that they had been given food. It was not possible to establish if the men were speaking freely. Earlier on Wednesday, Moscow said nearly 1,000 Ukrainian fighters had surrendered since Monday. The soldiers have been holed up for weeks in the Azovstal steelworks as a last stand against Russian forces determined to take over Maripol. Top commanders of Ukrainian fighters are still inside the plant, according to the leader of pro-Russian separatists in control of the area. Maripol is the biggest city Russia has captured so far and allows Russian President Vladimir Putin to claim a rare victory in the war. The city of more than 400,000 people lies in ruins and Ukraine says tens of thousands died under Russian bombardment. Moscow calls its invasion of Ukraine a special military operation designed to demilitarize its neighbor. The West and Kyiv call that a false pretext for invasion. The US on Wednesday became the latest country to reopen its embassy in Kyiv. Canada, Britain and others have also recently resumed embassy operations. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.